Hello everyone. I am Mohammad Shwai, final year student from Department of Electronic Communication Engineering, studying at Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge Technologies, Rajiv Knowledge Valley, from Andhra Pradesh. Being a part of MHC MRS System Internship Program, we have successfully completed project on in the guidance of Rajini Ma'am. This project is built in a group of three members, me along with my friends Virendra and Vamsi. Now I am here to demonstrate the micro oven simulation project. So let us see the overview we have learned in four weeks internship. So the topics covered in an internship. So we have go through the basics of C programming language and learn about the microcontroller and introduction to introduction to Ember system, introduction to the project, what we have had doing the project and what are the steps that need to follow the follow to implement the project and and disha workshop so let so let us go to the c introduction c is a middle level procedural programming language main features of a c language is general purpose and portable low level memory access fast speed Clean syntax. C is versatile. It can be used in application and technologies. If you know C, you will have no problem running other popular programs. She is mother of all languages. Topics we have learned in C: data types, inch, integer, character, float, and double. Modifiers, signed and modifiers are signed and unsigned, size, short, long, long, long. Loops for while and do while. Jump statements go to break and continue. Decision statements such as if, else, switch, case, and default. Other, others we learn wide return size up so go to next slide functions a function is a group of statements that together perform a specific task a function declaration tells the compiler about a function name return type and the parameter primary purpose of function is to break up complicated computations into meaningful chunks and name them name them so let us go through the Pointers. A pointer can be used to store the memory address of the other variable. Use of pointers allow low level memory access, dynamic memory allocation, and many other functionality in C. So, example many types white pointer, null pointer, far pointer, dangling pointer, and will pointer. So let us go through the microcontroller. Micro, let's see the picture of microcontroller. A microcontroller made on a single semiconductor chip is called single chip microcomputer since single chip microcomputer are generally used in control applications. They are also called microcontrollers. Microcontroller contains all essential components of a microcontroller computer such as CPU, RAM, ROM, EP-ROM, input and output lines, etc. Some single chip microcontroller contain devices to perform specific functions such as DMA channels, analog to digital converters, serial port, pulse width modulation, pulse width modulation, etc. So let us go through the next slide. So what is the difference between microprocessors and microcontroller? So See that microprocessor is a is heart of computer system. 
microcontroller is a heart of embedded systems. Since memory and input output has to be connected externally, the circuit becomes large. In microcontroller, since memory and input are present internally, the circuit is small. Cost of entire system increases. In microcontroller, cost of the entire system is very low. Most of the microprocessor do not have power saving features in microprocessor. In case microcontroller, most of the microcontrollers have power saving modes like idle mode and power saving modes. This helps to reduce power consumption even further. Microprocessor have less number of registers, hence more operations are memory based. In microcontroller, microcontroller have more number of registers. Hence, the program are easier to write. In microprocessor, mainly used in personal computers only. In my such as microcontroller used mainly in washing mixing MP3 players. So go to the next slide. Embedded systems. Embedded systems is a combination of any hardware and software which is intended to do a specific task. A general purpose system GPS is used to perform large number of tasks and embedded system is used to perform a specific task. Main components of embedded systems are software, hardware and firmware. Applications Digital clock, elevator, washing machine, micro oven and so on. So let us go through the next slide. Embedded system structure sensor analog to digital converter processor digital to unlock converter actuator memory in memory we have ram memory rom memory so advantages of embedded systems so first thing is it has low power consumption fast efficient and efficient use of processing power reliability the efficient use of memory. Types of embedded systems. So, see that first thing is stand alone embedded system, second, real time embedded system, third, network embedded system, and fourth, mobile embedded systems. In stand alone system, these systems are not intelligent, even through these are embedded systems. This system cannot take action by their own. Example semi automatic washing machine. And this considered in slave system, independent system. This system can take action by their own. Example Google car. Next real time system. This system are time bound system which will take action on a specified time. In here, failures in the system are not accept acceptable such as hard real-time, firm real-time, soft real-time. Example of real-time system is airbag system in car. Network system. The systems which are connected to network is called network system. Example, home security system, mobile system. The system which are movable are called mobile system such as robots. So, Next, continue, my friend Vamsi Kumar. Hi everyone, I am Vamsi. I am going to introduce about the project. While coming to the project, we have built a project based on MPLAB XIDE, simulated on the software named XSimLab. We worked on the project that is microwave oven simulation. Nowadays, many people prefer microwave oven for their daily use as a common kitchen appliance for the eating previously cooking cooking foods and cooking variety, variety of foods microwave oven is used to used to heat the food using microwaves which is a form electromagnetic waves there are several modes in various microwave oven we are going to implement in four modes first one is micro mode and second one is grill mode and third one is convection mode and these all are Use the uh, start button to start the microwave oven. 
to move ahead with a micro micro mode this mode is used to cook food in traditional manner and this and in the project we have built in we have built the maximum power has 900 watts and this micro mode oven used to cook in a traditional way this is the maximum time that you can set for cooking 60 minutes and second one is grill mode the grill mode is used to cook bread and meat it works as a micro mode but the purpose is to cook meat and bread user can set time as per the cooking time of meat and third one is convection mode in this mode user can set the oven to preheat for a particular temperature and it takes 3 minutes to preheat the oven after preheating is done then the user can set the time as per the requirements and these are the requirements which we used for the project the main things is we have a good knowledge in mblet c and mbl mbl abx ide so it's software and let's see by the xc8 compiler and pixim lab in pixim lab these are the ports which we are observing in here in the screen 16fx 877a microcontroller 16 by 4 clcd and tactile switch with the mic matrix keypad timer buzzer and fan so mbrets mbrets is a set of language extension for the c programming language to address common issues that exists between c extensions for different mbrets systems mbrets programming typically requires non standard extension extensions to the c language in order to support enhanced microprocessor features so this is the difference of c programming and mbret c programming mainly that c programming which is an basic programming but the mbret c is the advanced version of c programming this is in c programming independent of hardware architecture but in mbret c programming dependent on hardware architecture like microcontroller or other devices mostly c programming is used for desktop applications operating system and personal computer memories but uh, mbret c programming used for the limited resources like ram rom and other peripheral on mbret controller and these are the materials and software used for the project microwave oven and the software used is, is mbret lab x ide with the x8 compiler and pix sim lab to simulate the to simulate the output of the project and the hardware is like not only the and the hardware is only the pix sim lab in this pix sim lab having pix 16f 877a microcontroller and led module fan module matrix keypad module tactile key module 16 by 4 display to display the output of the project And this is the mplab x id software that that we are using in the project and this mplab x id is a software that is mplab code configurator is a free graphical programming environment that generates seamless easy to understand c code to insert in your project create a project in mplab x id ensure mplab x id is aware of your compiler tool chain by selecting tools and these they are using by the x8 compiler the x8 compiler is integrated with mpeg lab x id to provide you full graphical front end editing errors and breakpoints match the corresponding lines in the source code and this is the architecture of x sim lab so the main was which you were using the microcontroller is x16 f8 7 j and this is the gpio general purpose input and output and these are the e rtc and eep rom and this is lm35 time sensor and this is the unlock to digital conversion this is the clcd display and this is the matrix keypad and this is digital keypad and buzzer leds and rs232 This is the microcontroller pin diagram of PIC16F 877J. In our project, PIC16F 877J microcontroller is used. It has basically 40 pins. First 20 are arranged in left side, as we can observe in this figure, and for another 40s are at right side. It make easier to use with the peripherals as the function are spread out over the pins. Due to these pins, it is easier to decide what external devices to attach without worrying too much if there are enough pins 
what is the job so this is the microcontroller pin diagram of my fake 16f5w7j and this is the simulator which we are using that is pic sim lab in pic sim lab there is clcd display and these are the matrix matrix keypad like uh, is called i mean is like a tactile switches and this is the fan and this is the buzzer and this is the main microcontroller which we are using pic 16f8w7j and these are the ports port d and port b these are arranged in, in a order like b02 b7 and d02 d7 these are not only nothing but these are leds only so clcd clcd stands for character liquid crystal display in pic simbla there are two types of displays one is 16 by 2 display and another is 16 by 4 display but in this project we are using 16 by 4 display main advantage of using clcd is instead of seven segment display and other multi segment leds is that there is no limitation in displaying characters it displays ascii character and some special characters it is mostly commonly used in displays two types of communication modes are 4 bit mode and 8 bit mode but in our project we are using 8 bit mode so this is the structure of the not the I main this is the clcd display this is 16 by 2 clcd display and this is 16 by 4 clcd display tactile switch a tactile switch is a whose op operation is perceptible by touch this touch is used to select the mode of operation and to enter the temperature and to enter the time in our project the switch will produce a bouncing effect when switch is pressed Tactile switch allows the current flow when the actuator is pushed on the hill. There is minimal travel of the actuator. So this is the tactile switch and this is terminal and this is metal plate. So this is a pull down resistor circuit and this is pull up resistor circuit. In pull up, in pull up resistor circuit, the switch is open then control is read to 1. But if the switch is closed then control read to 0. But in pull pull down resistor circuit, if switch is open, control read to zero, and the switch is closed, and control read to VDD. This is the matrix keypad. This all textile keypads, these all textile switches are arranged in a rows and columns like a matrix. So that's why this is called as matrix keypad. So MKP that we stands I mean in a short form. This is the keypad in which number of tactile switches are connected in a row and column as I told you now. This is used when more number of users input are required and still want to save some controller input output lines. This keypad are most commonly used in telephones, calculators, digital lockers and we are using this project also. Interrupts. An interrupt is a common process set up in a microcontroller in which a internal or external device requests the MPU or MCU means microprocessor unit and microcontroller or microcontroller unit to stop the processing then the microprocessor unit or microcontroller unit acknowledges the request and attends to the request goes back the processing where it was got interrupted so these interrupts are classified into two types one is software and another one is hardware but Anna, again the hardware has again class subclass value into two types maskable and non-maskable and these maskable are subdivided into two types one is external and another one is internal polling it is the process where the computer or controlling device waits for the an external device to check readiness or state often with low level hardware there is some disadvantage of polling this is Loss of events may occur during polling and poor response and less power management. ISR ISR stands for Interrupt Service Routine. An ISR is software that is hardware in wakes in response to an uninterrupt. ISR attends to request of an interrupting source by the clearing the interrupt flag and should have save register contents that may be affected by the code in ISR. It must be terminated with the instruction retry. When an interrupt occurs, the microprocessor unit completes the instruction. Being executed, then it disables global interrupt enables. 
Place the address from the program counter on the global interrupt enables. Place the address from the program counter on stack. Timer. Timer is an important application in an embedded system which is a default peripheral which maintains the timing of an operation async with the system clock or external clock. It has many applications such as measuring the time and generating delays etc. Timer or the counter is a software designed to count the time intervals between the events. Resolution which is also called register with 8 or 16 bit etc. Tick is referred as the change from one number to the another number. It may be up count or be the down count. Quantum which depends on the system clock setting is measure of time which is responsible for the tick. And the scaling may be pre-scalar or post-scalar. The next demonstration of project will be given by my friend Virendra. Hello, I am Virendra. Coming to the main part of the project, that is actual simulation of micro oven using Pixim Lab. And this is the MP Lab XIDE where we develop our project, that means the code where we have written. First of all, we have included all the libraries which is required, and we have provided all the types of variable initialization and uh, we have initialized the modules that is required in the main.c and we are using switch case to determine all the conditions all the covering modes in it cooking modes in it we also declared all the functions that is required in the main file now coming towards the end everything mentioned in the while loop so that our code will run continuously. Now let's build this project and see what the output was. Yes, as you can see, the build is successful. Now let's see the simulation in the Pixim lab. Yes, this is the Pixim lab, and here we can see 16 into 4 CLCD display. These are the matrix keypads, and these are two arrays of LEDs from D0 to D7 and B0 to B7. This is the buzzer, this is fan, these are the switches which we used in this project, and this is the pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller which has 40 pins and I now let's see the simulation in this first of all we have to load the hex file I will load the hex file so as soon as I load this hex file the power on micro oven screen will be displayed. And these are the four modes of operation of microwave oven. First mode is micro mode. If the user press key 1 from the menu display, the micro mode will be activated. As soon as user click the key 1, power information of 900 will be displayed in the CLCD. And the set time screen will be next where we prompt the user to enter the number of minutes and seconds to be run in micro mode. And the star key used, used to clear the current minutes and seconds and the ash key is used to enter the next process. And let me give the minutes and seconds. I will give 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Let me enter this. Yes, the micro oven is started. It will display the time. The timer will be running in a decremented value. 
till seconds to be zero. After that, buzzer is on. And here, key five is used to pass the whole operation. Here you can see the fan is off, time is off. And to restart this, our resume, we can press number four. And six is used to stop the entire process. Let me click key six. Yes, here it can come back to the menu display. This is micro mode. Coming to the grill mode, if user press key 2 from the menu display, the grill mode will be activated and the set time screen will be displayed. Yes, you can see the set time screen. In this also same as it is in the micro mode star will be used to clear the minutes and seconds hash key will be used to the enter to the process here also we can give minutes and seconds and enter to start the next process i will give 40 seconds and 15 minutes let me enter this again the grill mode will be activated. Time will be running in a decremented mode till zero. Here also five, but he is used to pass. And again four will be used to restart the program. And six will be used to stop the entire process. I'm coming back to the menu display. This is overall about grill mode. Next mode is convection mode. If the user press key 3 from the menu display, the convection mode will be activated and the set time screen occurs. Wait the user is prompted to set the temperature for preheating in the convection mode. Let me see this. Yes, here you can see the set time, set temperature screen. In this, we can give the temperature what we want. I will give 140 degrees. And here also, star key is used to clear the whole temperature, and then ash key is used to enter to the next process. Let me enter this. Yes, the set time screen will be displayed after preheating. The woven is preheated for the given value. And then set time screen will be displayed. And this here also, we can give the amount of minutes and seconds. Let me give 10 seconds and enter to the process. We can listen the buzzer sound after completing this yes after the time is completed it will show the time up and buzzer will be sounded beep sound and coming back to the menu display this is all about convection mode and the last mode is start mode if the user press key 4 start mode will be activated and the same Time display screen will be appear as the user press number 4 key. Here the default time will be 30 seconds. It will start decrementing from the default 30 seconds. The fan is turned on. If you want to increase again 30 seconds, we can click number 4. You can see the increment of 30 seconds. And 5 is used to pass. And 6 is used to stop the entire process in coming back to the menu display. Yes. This is the overall simulation of micro woven project.
Yes. Coming to the conclusion, what we had gained and learned in this internship is we have learned how to use MPLAB XIDE, how to compile with the help of XE8 compiler, and how to simulate on PixSimLab. And we are introduced to different software along with the interface and real time experience. At last, in the Disha workshop, we had gained knowledge of what is our core domain and what is the future in it. And finally, I thank you, Emertex Technologies and the whole team of Emertex for providing wonderful opportunity of internship and specially thanks to the Rajini ma'am and Anusha ma'am and each and everyone in the Emertex team. Thank you.